Welcome to our daily reflection from St Denis. God knows. In his novel The Noise of Time, Julian Barnes describes what life was like in the Soviet Union for persons who were of interest to the authorities. In that time, there were two phrases, one a question and one a statement, which would cause the sweat to pour and strong men to melt with fear. The question was, does Stalin know? The statement, even more alarming, was, Stalin knows. And since Stalin was accorded supernatural powers, he never made a mistake, he commanded everything and was everywhere, the mere terrestrial beings under his power felt, or imagined, his eye being constantly upon them. Stalin died in 1953, but many millions still live under state surveillance, which becomes ever more intense as technology progresses. Data protection, privacy online and offline are concerns for us all. In Psalm 139, King David describes how we are known by God. Verse 1. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. God's knowledge of us far exceeds the knowledge any government agency or tech giant can ever obtain or process. All of which could be rather alarming and sounds rather sinister. But for David, this was a source of great comfort and great security in uncertain times. Verse 6. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. Not only that, but David says we owe our very life and form to God's precision bioengineering. Verse 13. You formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. Verse 14, I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Verses 7 to 12 tell us that we cannot escape God's presence either. Verse 7, where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there as well. Is this a threat or an unwelcome intrusion on our privacy? Not to the psalmist. Verses 9 and 10. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. How precious are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Try to count God's loving thoughts towards us, like counting sheep. And we'll find he is with us when we fall asleep, all through the night, and when we awake. Let us pray. All-knowing, all-powerful and ever-present God, we praise you for your greatness and for your goodness. We thank you that you love us with an everlasting love, that you sent your Son to die for us, that we might be clothed with his righteousness, with royal robes we don't deserve, that we no longer need to hide from you, that we can call you Father. Lead us and guide us in our thoughts, words and actions. Wherever we are and wherever we go this week, please lead us and guide us. Support us with your strength. Remind us that you are so committed to us in love that you have promised to be with us always, even through death itself, and then for eternity. We ask this 
in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.